Hi. Oh, this video was requested by Aoki. She was my first commenter on my last video about shading and rendering. So if you haven't seen that video yet, the link will be in the description. So, Aoki and other people viewing this video, you guys want to learn how to draw hair. Well, this video is for us. Yes, for us. Because I'm also still learning. Not gonna lie, I watched my last tutorial on how to render just so that I would know how I did it. Yeah. Okay, hair. There's actually tons of ways you can shade hair, but this is just how I do it. This video will be broken down in eight steps. Start with the first step, which is draw your head. Not that head, you thirsty, then draw the hairline. And remember, heads are a lot bigger than you think, especially the forehead. Get your proportions correctly, okay? Second step, sketch your hair. Hair is almost like fluid. It depends on the volume though. I chose this character specifically because I find her really hard to draw and I like punishing myself. So yeah, because her hair is so long, straight, and dark, there's not much room I can hide my skill issue. One tip I can give when drawing your hair, add like a shape language on it. Make sure that the viewer understands if the hair is voluminous, if it's flying, or if it's super straight. It adds a lot to your character's personality. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip the non-hair parts and I'll come back once they're kind of done. Okay, I'm back. Are we at the second step? So yeah, so just fill in the sketch with the hair's base color. For black hair, I used like a really dark blue tone just so it wouldn't be pure black. I read somewhere that black hairs are really just dark brown in color. But yeah, I'm not gonna apply that here because brown only shows when the sun is hitting the hair. But my light source is not a sun, is it, Wikipedia? Alright, now with the details details also it was really hard shading everything without her huge hair it's really tempting to draw the hair because it's like a missing piece to my puzzle <sighs> not now not until we finish the drawing step three contour step so much like makeup you do contour so do it here but for me though i first draw the harsh shadows basically just to define the strands and the flow of the hair i used the sharp pen for this one by the way use your sketch as your guide and add as much strands that you'd like i know i'm on my 59th layer okay i'm going crazy apply the shadow part and the highlight part it's okay to use like a big brush first we're gonna blend it anyway yeah after that, we blend. Yeah. For blending, you don't have to strictly use a watercolor to make it smooth. I like to make hairs a little sharp in terms of shading too because hair is a lot of strands, you know, so I use a sharp pen. Also, remember to change the setting to opacity by pressure so it blends in. I also airbrush like a gradient underneath the shading. And yes, it's another layer. It's just so that the transition from bright to shadow is smooth. Also, when blending the hair, I don't shade the whole strand with shadows. I avoid shading a little from the side where the light is hitting just to cleanly define the separation of the strand as well as the light source hitting the hair. I do the same thing with the highlights or the bright part of the hair and I use the sharp pen to define that. And when using the sharp pen, I also blend that using the watercolor so it smoothly goes to smooth and then to sharp. Also, this video set me back a few days because I thought it was gonna be easy, you know, trying something new, but it was hard. And I also changed the hair a little bit because it didn't make sense earlier, so I made it thicker, like you. Also, because her hair was super thick and straight. Okay, oh my god, we're making progress. It finally looks like a hair. We're insane with it. After that, add your highlights. And yes, I did also put this on a separate layer because I am a coward. So the way I did the lighting on this one, so there's a light source coming from here and another on the top just to make the hair more dynamic. It's like a ring light of some sort. I don't know. Then smudge it at the bottom part and the top part or however you might want to smudge it. Also, this video set me back a few days because I thought it was gonna be easy, you know, trying something new, but it was hard. I had a lot of Pinterest tabs opened and it took me a lot of tries to get the hair shading correctly. You can also add like small strands of hair flying off because hair is not perfect, you know? It flies in everything. And I removed her highlights at the middle part of her hair because it looks like I was putting too much highlights. Too much is never always good or 
however the saying goes and i also put the going away effect that i mentioned last episode so i watched sam does arts apparently it's not called going away effect it's called light bouncing off or something okay sam smart that actually makes sense so put the bouncing lights onto the hair where light bounces off so yeah that's the last step i didn't count which step we're in but i believe that's the eighth step quick rundown so first bald head with hairline second sketch of the hair third base color fourth <laughs> harsh shadow fifth contour step sixth blending seventh highlights which also includes the light bounce thingy and lastly eighth add finishing touches which includes smudging the flying strands and everything also i know i butchered her wings here look at this dude <laughs> i don't draw a lot of wings so just just don't look at it okay so here's my quick 45 second time lapse of the drawing this may help you focus because apparently all of us has adhd now i 19f drew this portrait of an anime character called albedo from overlord and is now asking you to like and subscribe so i can feed my cat and dog and myself bye Also, thank you so much for supporting my last video. That was my most human interaction I've had since ever. So yeah, bye again. It adds a lot to your. Uh, it add. It adds a lot. It add. It adds, bruh.